What is good YouTube? This is Daniel, Veterans with Anxiety here and we are back with another video today guys. Check it out, today's video is going to be about what does cocaine feel like? What does cocaine feel like? What does the high feel like? What is it like to be addicted to cocaine? And just the overall experience. Before we get started, do not forget to smash that like and subscribe button for ya boy. Cocaine for me was the one stimulant that I felt like I could actually enjoy. Every other stimulant that I've ever tried just gave me insane anxiety and was anything but euphoric. But the way cocaine affected me made it to where I literally could not say no. My cocaine use all started during the beginning of this whole pandemic. I was already a heroin addict at the time, but the combination of isolation plus the drive to feel good led me to use even more heroin, and when heroin alone wasn't even amusing, that's when the cocaine came into play. And after picking up my first $20 balloon from the local cartel delivery driver, I ran inside my house so that way I could bust this thing open and inspect. Now let me rewind things here just a little bit because this wasn't actually my first time ever using cocaine. The first time that I had ever even tried cocaine I was in high school, however that time I didn't do very much and really didn't feel much of an effect and so what we are talking about right now is what I consider to be my very first time using cocaine. My first real experience. So after getting up into my room I open up that balloon and I just remember sitting there staring at it bro for at least 10 minutes just super intrigued on just the way this stuff looked sometimes it would already come as a really fine powder other times it would come with chunks other times it would come with these little shiny flakes that fish scale so this time in particular i had to break it down inside of a little dollar bill like i always used to do i would fold it in half long ways and i would put the little chunks of cocaine in there and sometimes cocaine has some moisture in it and you need to take that out of it and so the way you do it is you hold the lighter underneath the dollar bill and it kind of evaporates some of the water in there and it makes it so dry to where you can sit there and crush it and now it's a fine powder again so i cut up a line on my macbook about two inches long or so nothing crazy and i snorted the whole damn thing within about 30 to 45 seconds i started to notice that the inside of my nose and nostrils were starting to become numb. The numbness started to creep down my throat and even into my sinus cavities. Then all of a sudden, maybe about a minute or two in, the effects started to come on. And right away, the first thing that I noticed is my heart rate starting to increase, my hands and feet were becoming sweaty, and I was overcome by a clear and calm energy and an overwhelming sensation of euphoria now right at this point if this was any other stimulant like meth your boy would be on a one-way street to a damn panic attack but like i said earlier cocaine never did that to me in the beginning this is what made it so damn easy for me to become a true addict to cocaine and it was from that moment on that i was now a cocaine addict every single day my life was cocaine and heroin from the moment i got up to the moment that i went to bed i was using cocaine i started off just spending 20 dollars a day but very quickly that 20 dollars a day became 40 and then that 40 became 80 all the way up until I was spending $100 every single day for a gram and a half of the cartel's finest. Not only did this drug take a toll on me financially, but physically as well. You ever heard of a cocaine booger? I didn't either until I did enough to find out. A cocaine booger is when you have been using so damn much blow that whatever the stuff is cut with usually some elephant dewormer starts to eat away at the living flesh that is in your nose and sinus cavity. It is this rotting flesh combined with all of the crusty mucus that your nose produces when you snort cocaine that we call a cocaine booger. Bro, I used to get these so damn bad that one time I had one and this thing was so huge that it was stuck literally behind the hole in your face where your nose is all the way up here that the only way I was able to get this thing out 
was with a pair of tweezers and a needle. Now I know that might sound a bit disgusting because it is, but that just goes to show you how disgusting addiction can actually get when you become desperate for a high. Because there were times that my nose would be bleeding, throbbing in pain, and I would have sinus tissue blowing out every sneeze, and I would still continue to use. And honestly, at this point, I don't know how I still have a nose at all. Now let's talk a little bit about sleep, because cocaine is a very powerful stimulant so how in the hell did I get sleep? Well, this might be kind of a surprise to some people because I actually slept every single night that I was using cocaine. And in fact, I even got almost four to six hours every single night as well. But it was the way I was getting this sleep that this addiction got really out of hand. You see, I'm the kind of person that literally needs sleep and basically can't even function without it. Which is kind of funny considering I chose to do cocaine every single night. So what would happen was at the end of every single night after I had just blown through about a gram and a half of cocaine all to myself, I would eventually try to go to sleep. And I would lay down for maybe 10, 20 minutes and uh, I would eventually just be like, yo, I can't sleep. So what did I do? Like an idiot, I would take a mixture of Seroquel and Propanolol. Seroquel, for those who don't know, is an antipsychotic mood stabilizer type of a drug, and Propanolol is literally a blood pressure medication, but it's also prescribed for anxiety, and that was the reason why I had it. And over time, I found out that the combination of the two would pretty much completely counteract the effects of the cocaine, allowing me to just pass right out. Within one hour of me taking both of these drugs, after a whole night of cocaine, I would be sleeping. The problem with this was that every time I did this, I would experience this extreme chest pain. This used to scare the living shit out of me, and I would seriously just be standing up scared to death, thinking I'm about to die, and I would always just be feeling my pulse, trying to check to see where my heart's doing, where it's at, and uh, the pain would be just be so bad that I would literally just sit there, holding my chest, rocking back and forth, and just waiting for it to go away. I would always just make sure to have my phone nearby, so that way, if I needed to call anybody, hopefully I could. And this happened every single night. Every single night, I would do this combination, so that way I could go to sleep, not thinking, anything about the long-term consequences or what this might be doing to my heart or my body because just think about it you're mixing a blood pressure medication with cocaine complete madness doesn't even come close to describing this even after all of that the chest pain the cocaine boogers nothing made me quit I don't even think I started to think about quitting. It's like I would just forget all about the bad because I was only chasing for the good. But no matter how hard I chased, at the end of everything, at the end of the day, fun was over. I ended up using cocaine every single day as an active addict for about one and a half years total. I got off of cocaine around the same time that I got off of heroin when I first started my Suboxone program. Luckily, unlike heroin, cocaine does not have a hardcore physical withdrawal. However, I did feel pretty tired and sluggish and just generally kind of depressed and unmotivated once I finally did quit cocaine. And and being on the subs has also helped the cravings for the cocaine and other drugs, hard drugs like that as well. This was my own personal experience about how cocaine feels like and what it's like to be an active addict to cocaine. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, do not forget to smash that like button for me and also leave me some comments down below letting me know what you guys thought about this video. If you guys would like to, you can help support me in this channel by the links down below in the description. If you guys like my content and you want to see more videos like this, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.